वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर खोडदे ऋषिकेश एंड वर्किंग इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी ऐट रेक शिक्षण संस्था सताराज एस एम जोशी कॉलेज हडपसर पुने माय कॉलेज इज एफिलेटेड टू द सावित्रीबाई फुले पुने यूनिवर्सिटी एंड वी आर कवरिंग द सिलेबस ऑफ बॉटनी विच इज प्रिस्क्राइब्ड बाय द यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर एफ स्टूडेंट्स इन पेपर वन वी आर डिस्कसिंग युअर अबाउट द चैप्टर थर्ड दैट इज लाइक एंड स्टडी एंड आई विल रिकॉल यू अप टिल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द जनरल कैरेक्टर्स नेचर ऑफ असोसिएशन एंड फॉर्म्स इन लाइकेंस द नेचर ऑफ असोसिएशन शोज सिम्बायोटिक पैरासिटिजम हेलोटिजम टाइप फॉर्म्स ऑफ अर लाइकेन शोज क्रिस्टोज फॉलियोज फ्रूटिकोज लाइकेन वी हैव सीन देअर एग्जाम्पल्स इन जनरल कैरेक्टर्स वी हैव सीन द डिटेल ऑफ लाइकेन वेअर दे ऑकर ऑन द प्लैनेट अर्थ सो ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी द पॉइंट इज गिवन दैट द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ लाइकेन यूटिलाइजेशन मीन्स यूजेस ऑफ लाइकेन and most appropriately you can call it as the significance of lichen on the planet not only for human life so significance means the use application utilization of lichen for various purposes we will see the point by point where the lichens are utilized by human perspective and for the nature point of view during island formation everyone know about island as shown in this picture islands are generated due to the volcanic eruption from the bottom of the sea and new islands are produced but these islands are after cooling down form only the rock like structure but due to the action of lichens the enzymes organic enzymes which are the secreted by these lichens perform the formation of soil function which is very incredible if there is no soil there will be the no vegetation if no vegetation no biodiversity so all these things are connected to the soil formation and the lichens perform the major role in formation of soil which is very remarkable thing every island lichen are considered as the first organism to visit that island to live or capable to live on that island so they are often considered as a pioneer species pioneer means who starts something so they lichens are considered as pioneer species the other significance of lichen is very important is that the lichen can be used as a food as well as a fodder purpose the difference between food and fodder is that food is something which is eaten by human being for their diet purpose for metabolism or nutrition purpose and fodder is something which is required by the animals such as goat cow buffalo for their metabolism for their nutrition purpose the centrarian name lichen is also used as a food by other countries also the another lichen cladonia is used as a fodder for the animals during the winter season so here i am giving you an examples on the screen which shows the various type of lichen which are used differentially as a food or as a fodder esculenta are mixed with the floor floor means pit for the improvement of the texture of that floor for making the food material so after looking at two importance first one was pioneer species and another one was acting as a food and fodder the third importance of lichen is that these lichens are used as a medicinal value because these lichens are containing such secondary metabolites secondary metabolites means the chemicals which are specially find in certain species so these secondary metabolites which are present in lichens can be used to treat various lung diseases cancer diseases or various other diseases where it is needed such as the peltigera named lichen is used to treat the hydrophobia hydrophobia means to fear of water so peltigera name lichen is used to treat for this kind of problem whereas parmeria lichen is used to treat the epilepsy type of disease or syndrome the third lichen is the centraria which is used for treatment of fever a common cold fever can be treated with the help of lichen centraria the lobiria name lichen can be used to treat lung infection diseases so you can see the wide variety of lichens are available to can be used 
them as a medicinal purpose and some lichens produces some kind of acids usnic acid type which is used as a antimicrobial agent the antibiotic or antimicrobial chemicals are very costly to produce in laboratory but this usnic acid can be isolated or extracted from these lichens and can be used as a antimicrobial or antibiotic chemical some lichens such as centraria cladonia are used to treat cancer like diseases because they contain sauronic acid the sauronic acid which is present in centraria cladonia uh, namely a lichen in which this sauronic acid is used to treat various cancers like stage first cancer in human beings so they have vast impact on human life as a medicinal point of view so we are looking at the fourth importance or fourth utilization of the lichen that is in case of dyes preparation the dyes everyone knows about the dyes what are the dyes the color of this coat is black the natural generally any material is synthesized is white or yellowish in form because they are naturally derived in order to give them a color we uses dyes dyes are of two types synthetic dyes and organic dyes synthetic dyes are those dyes which are produced in the laboratory and which are something harmful for human being maybe the carcinogenic carcinogenic means which causes cancer but the dyes which are extracted from this lichens are organic in nature and they are very useful for various purposes such as in textile industries textile means production of various types of clothes the most famous among all dyes is orchil dye this orchil dye produces blue violet brown types of color so when orsinin is required from laboratory purpose orsinin is one of the stain which is used in laboratory purposes this orsinin is extracted from the orchil and this is very important because many laboratory student must have known the name of this orsinin and while doing chemistry practicals you must have seen the differentiation to differentiate between acid and base we use litmus paper this litmus paper contain litmus dye from where this litmus dye comes you will be surprised by knowing that this litmus dye come from the lichen the lichen name is roseleis roseleis lichen produces litmus dye which is used by all chemical laboratories to identify whether the compound is acidic or basic in very cheap way so the next point or utilization of lichen is the lichens are used in perfume industry which is very vast industry nowadays perfumes are utilized by all human beings so these perfumes contain oil which is extracted by the lichens and these lichens are known as evernia or loveria type of lichen so the oil from these lichens are extracted in order to produce perfumes as well as the base of any perfume base means what the scented material is added into the base that base is produced from the lichen because the lichen have tendency to retain the smell so what will happen if you do not use such kind of base the smell of that perfume will leave that chemical in very few days so to maintain or store the perfume for longer period we generally use the base of that perfume which is made up from the lichens the next use of utilization of lichen is that they are used in tannin industry also so what is tannin industry all of you know very well the word leather leather the material which is made up of leather which are very costly so to produce leather we require animal skin if you treat animal skin properly with the tannin leather produces so in tannin industries the extract of lichen are used for tannin purpose so that the leather will produce in proper way so there are various lichens which are used for this purpose some lichens are used for beer production also for example loveria lichen is used in beer production many competitive exam this question are asked and and lichen like usnia and uh, ramelia are used for other alcohol production purposes by fermentation processes so these lichens are used in various purposes up till we have seen six different types here last but not least 
is the lichen are used as a pollution indicator because these lichens are very sensitive to the pollution pollution mainly contain nitric dioxide and sulfur dioxide so you know 2 so2 are the main component of polluted air these lichens are very sensitive to the so2 if the concentration of so2 increases the lichen from that area will wipe out so if any area shows zero lichen presence it is known as lichen desert desert means wild wonder so it is an indication that the area or atmosphere of that particular region is very much polluted so we have seen up till the seven different types uh, of utilization of lichen first one was lichens are used or can be called as a pioneer species second one was lichens are used as a food and fodder purposes third one was lichens are used for medicinal purposes fourth one was lichens are used in dyes industries fifth one was lichens are used for perfume production purposes sixth one was lichens are used for tanning industries and seventh one was the lichens are the indicator of pollution of that particular area so with this we are completing we have completed the first uh, chapter which we are discussing here the chapter number 3 lichen study in which we have studied general characters nature of association in lichen the forms in lichen and the utilization in lichens i hope you must have enjoyed this video and must have understood the everything which i am trying to tell you here with the help of various photographs to make the video interesting so in our ray shikshan samsthas we have knowledge library so i will give you the link in the description of video so you will get the more reading and video material below to the uh, description of video so thank you for giving your time we will meet in our next chapter that is bryophyte study so till take care and please don't forget to subscribe this channel so you will get the notifications thank you very much <music>